Hi, my name is Tamil Green, also known as the Digital Midwife. I help busy mompreneurs to birth their businesses digitally through social media marketing, web design, and other creative PR content to help them become shareable, profitable, and productive. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite tool, Canva. I've done several videos about Canva, but this is going to be a little different because, of course, the last time I did a video about Canva, it was um, Canva 1.0. Now it is Canva 2.0. And I love Canva. Like, Canva is one of my favorite tools that I use in my business. And it's also one of my favorite tools that I like to train other mompreneurs how to use. Because one is very user friendly, right? It's very easy to learn. And my favorite one is, is budget friendly. And as moms, we're always looking for tools and tips and tricks that are budget friendly, right? To help us to be productive in our families and in our business. So today we're gonna to get started and I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of things. And just so you know, I'm gonna be doing this for the next 30 days, right? So if you want to make sure that you're getting the notifications of when I upload a new video, make sure that you subscribe below, okay? And make sure you share it, share the video with your friends. And if they have other mompreneurs, share it with them too. Okay, so I'm gonna now share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you two things today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create an account with Canva. And I'm also gonna show you this the Canva dashboard, okay? And the Canva that I use is Canva Pro. So some things that are available to me are not available in the free Canva because Canva is free and it also has a paid version of it, which is only $12.95 a month if you want to, you know, purchase that. And it's not a big investment at all, but it's a, a small investment that makes big impact in your business. So anyway, we're going to get started and um, make sure that you comment below if you have any questions. And okay, I'll be looking forward to seeing your comments. Make sure you subscribe. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you create an account on Canva.com. And all you do is go type in your web browser, Canva.com, and you have a couple of options of how you can sign up. You can sign up with Google, you can sign up with Facebook, or you can sign up with an email. I always suggest to people to sign up with an email and not with your different accounts because if they get hacked into, then everything is liable, right? Everything is at risk. So I always suggest to people to use your email address. So I'm going to log in. So when you first come into Canva and you log in, you're going to come here to the home screen. And if you see, notice there's going to be a kind of a menu bar on your left hand side. And I would suggest that you take the time to kind of go through those to just kind of get familiarized with what's available in those. Once you click on them, you have all of your designs and you have different templates that you can use. So if you come into Canva knowing exactly what you want to do, then you can just find the template for it. So if you know you want to create a Facebook cover photo, then you can just click on that and it's going to take you over into the design studio, right? So in this section right here, you'll notice that there's a search bar. So once you start doing a lot of designs, you're able to search your design. So make sure you start to name those things that you're things that you're able to name them that you're able to find, okay? So that you know that um, you can find them easily. Now, one thing about Canva 2.0 is that there are a lot of different features in 2.0 than there were in 1.0. But if you're new to Canva, then don't even worry about it, right? You just gonna learn everything new, right? New and fresh. So one of the things I want to make sure you know is that Canva is a free program. But in my tutorials, I'm going to be showing you about design features from the pro as well as the free version. I love to do the Canva for Work program because, like I said earlier in the video, it's budget friendly. It's, very not, it's not that expensive at all. And it's a tool that you really want to use to help you create more designs. And you don't have to be a designer. So as you can see, they have templates already. So once you click, and we're going to go click on the Facebook cover photo. And once you have your designs, you want to look here, and this is where you're going to be able to see all your designs that you've done. You'll be able to get to all of those things, okay? And very simple. So I'm going to click on Facebook cover photo, and it's going to pop open into a new screen. And again, today is not to show you all of Canva, 
but just to kind of get those people who are not familiar with Canva, just to kind of get you familiar with what's going on when you get started, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna take my face away so that way we can see all of the menu here. So now that you're inside of a template, you notice that the window changes, right? It opens into a new window. And now you have a menu bar across the top on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, as well as a menu bar on the left-hand side going down, right? And as we go along these next 30 days, I'm going to be talking to you about the different features, some tips and tricks I use in order to utilize this program. And I'm telling you, do not get overwhelmed by the different things you can do because honestly, I'm going to simplify this for you so much. All right, so this is a template, a Facebook cover photo. And if you click on file, you'll see that it actually tells you what it is in case you forget which one you click on, right? And you'll notice that it tells you the size and it's untitled. So you're going to actually want to make sure that you title it over there. All right. Now, on this side is the resize feature. Now, with this, it's only available if you have the paid version of Canva. So if I wanted to change this to a new um, template, a new design, a new feature using the, the same design, all I got to do is click on what I want and then click resize. And it will actually resize the one that I'm in. But if I want to keep this one, then I want to click on copy and resize, okay? I love that feature, all right? That's probably the main reason that I use Canva for work, okay? <laughs> the, the pro version of Canva. So as you notice that once I get over here, there's a title that I could change this to. Then I can, there's a share button here. And then there's the download feature, right? And then there's how do I want to publish this, okay? So... In this section, you notice this is a blank canvas. Once I add something over here, I'm gonna just click on that. Once I add something here, then a new menu pops up. When I click on the photo, there's a photo menu here. And then if I click on the text, there is a text menu here, okay? So this is, when you first get started with Canva, you wanna make sure you create an account and then notice the different menus that are in here like i said before there this is the home version of it um, when you first get into there and you can create a design and you have folders on the side now when you have the free version of camp i think you only get about two or three folders but if you have the pro version of camp you get way more folders like unlimited which is what i like because of course again i like to utilize this program not just for me but for my clients as well so if you look here, um, you can find all your designs. You can even put a brand kit in, and we'll go more into detail about all those features. But for today's purposes, I just want to kind of give you a brief overview of the dashboard inside of Canva, as well as just getting you signed up. So I hope that you signed up. And if you want to make sure you get all the 30 videos that I'm going to be uploading, that you make sure you subscribe to this channel. And turn on, turn on the notification so that way when I upload a video, you will actually get it to your inbox, okay? All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're liking this, make sure you share it with a friend or another business, a business owner. All right, thank you for joining me.